Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, Arsquad 911 back again with another unboxing video. If you guys have seen my other video of me unboxing, well, not really unboxing, it, you'll watch the video. Anyways, uh, it was of the uh, Hot Wheels Elite 118 scale Ecto 1A. Uh, you know that I've been in search of uh, the 84 Ghostbusters Ecto 1. And I was browsing through Amazon and this thing popped up. It's a 124th scale Ecto-1, uh, 84 Ghostbusters. Uh, it was on sale, so I snatched it up. There was only two left. And I figured, huh, maybe I'll just give this a try and see how it is. It's 124th scale, so it's not 118th. I, I think the smallest I'd like to collect is 118th. So this isn't, when I saw this, in person, I was like, oh, it's a little small and the details aren't as great. And that's just looking through the box here. So this will end up becoming a nice gift for somebody. <laughs> but uh, regardless, I'm going to do an unboxing video just because um, it's something new and I would like to unbox it. All right. So we'll open this thing up. This is done. This is made by Jada Toys. It's their uh, die cast. It was a Hollywood Cars. Uh, Hollywood Rides series and you can see here that the hood opens the doors open the rear opens and uh, yeah this is a 2024 Jada Toys model so it's actually quite new uh, yeah and it was on sale so I got it for about 35 bucks Canadian which is pretty cheap for a die cast model you you ask me um, we'll just open this thing up and we'll just see what we're dealing with here all right, so anything else to show in the box? Nothing here. This looks to be taped into the box here. Open that up. Slide that out. Seems to be caught up on something. Maybe this. Aha! There we go. A little secret flap underneath there. <laughs> so here it is. How do I get it off of this? Do I actually have to unscrew it? I do. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver for that. Do I have one in this drawer? No. Uh, I will be right back. All right, guys, got my screwdriver here. Just need to unscrew it from this plate that holds it in. So I guess the, that's how they can display it loosely like this so you can actually see it through the box, the clear window in the box, without having to shift around and getting damaged. Oh, yeah, just use your Phillips number one here and screw it from the plate. Not sure where this plate went through. Oh, I guess it went... It went like this, this plate here. Don't know why we're not focusing here. And then it just goes into here. And then this plate goes from underneath through the box and sandwiches to there. Okay. All right. So this is it, it has uh, pretty light. I mean, I guess it's heavy for the size, but uh, regardless, it, it feels quite light. There's a bunch of tape on here. I guess that's to hold the, the hood from opening. And already you can see some rub damage there. There's some paint missing and that kind of sucks. And that's on the outside edge too. Not even on the inside against the box. And we have uh, this here. We'll just snip that off. I believe that's holding the doors. Like so. Alright, let's move all this junk out of the way. And uh, yeah, nothing really like a very little detail here, I would say, and here too. Very, very little detail. 
this kind of like painted green and this this piece should be white the the hose here they didn't separate that well this and there's a ladder and this piece here I mean, very smooth. Overall, I mean, this is more a toy than a display model. I mean, I guess you could display it, but um, for my, my purposes, uh, I need something to be a little bit more detailed and a little larger. Uh, you can see the engine in there. You can open the doors, steering wheel and Pedals. Not sure if you guys can see that. You can open this door here. This door is extremely tight. The rear doors do not open. They are sealed. But the back door you can open. And it doesn't open all the way. That's as far as it goes. Whereas on the Hot Wheels it opens all the way and there's the gurney with uh, the proton packs on it. Um, yeah. So overall, I think this is pretty decent um, for the price. If you're looking for a die-cast Ecto-1 in 124th scale. Uh, for me, I, I think I'm just going to stick to the minimum 118th. And then, because I just can't collect 16th anymore. Just no more space. But overall for this size, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it has all the right details that you need to display this, I guess, in a glass case. Or um, as a toy, just for something to roll around and play with for a kid, it's actually not bad. It feels like quite durable. These things are on there pretty good. This piece might uh, not fare so well, and uh, this clear piece here. But other than that, everything else is pretty solid. Uh, that light is about to fall off. Um, the, the lights are good on top. And I think... Uh, you wouldn't give this to a toddler or something. I would give it to maybe like a 10 to 15 year old, uh, somebody who's into Ghostbusters, and it'll be just something cool to just put on their shelf and look at and roll around and play with and fiddle with. Um, but this is not something for me. And that's the details at the trunk. I do not know why my camera is not focusing properly today. It's really strange. Must be in my settings or something, but I'll have to double check that. Mm, but uh, yeah, uh, this is the Hollywood Rides by Jada Toys Ecto One, um, one twenty-four scale die cast model. Everything is metal except all this stuff is plastic. The wheels are plastic. All the chrome finishes are plastic, but the body itself is metal. Even no, actually, these fins are just a rubber. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, this is going to be a nice gift for somebody. Um, not sure who yet, but uh, yeah, I think it'll make a nice gift. All right, so uh, stay tuned for some close-ups. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, for only $35, is it worth it? I think it is, um, but uh, just not. Uh, for someone like me who's used to collecting one-fourth, one-third, one-sixth statues and figures and whatnot, uh, this does not fit the bill for me. But it would definitely fit the bill for many others out there, I'm sure. All right, so, yep, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.